I just joined a boxing gym to to lose weight, and in uh, in 12th grade, <laughs> I was a little started a little late, and after making my weight, I decided to try one fight, and and I won. I was like, I'll have another one, and now it kind of spiraled, and winning becomes addicting, and. I always want to be better and better, and my goals have grown and grown from being, from winning one fight to being a state champion to being a regional champion to being a national champion, which was crazy to me to represent my country and different things. And now the goal is the Olympics. For me, it was Lenroy Thompson Jr. And in 2012, after the suspension, I decided that that person had died and I wanted to be a whole new person. And uh, I had what I called an after birthday party where I went out and legally changed my name. It wasn't that much work and it's relatively cheap for changing your name for a lifetime. And I threw a party. A lot of my friends came out and celebrated the, the rebirth or the afterbirth of, of Cam F. Awesome. And I chose the name because Cameron was my middle name, everyone called me Cam. And I figured if I was changing my first name, I might as well change my last name. If I'm gonna change my last name, why not change to the best thing I can think of? And to this day, I haven't thought of a better name than Mr. Awesome. So, you guys are ready for your headliner tonight. Please, make some noise. Guy, he's, a, he's also a very good dude. Another guy you should also show your support to, and he is a boxer. So if you don't like, he's gonna punch you in the face. And I say that every time I see him. So please, everybody, make some noise. Cam M. Awesome. A running coach isn't like a high desired like job in Kenya. Because <laughs> they figured it out. But I actually genuinely do not know what a running coach does. <laughs> I can assume though, let's all assume together. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right, that's it. Faster, yeah. It's it's, it's the same feeling, it's a euphoric feeling when you land a great punch, and it's a euphoric feeling when you land a great punchline. So I, I enjoy doing both those things. It's, I, I don't think it, one distracts from the other. Everybody has hobbies. My hobby is just, just, just a little different. It's, it's pretty similar, I was joking around last night uh, when I was, I was like, all right, you about to get up, go on stage, you ready? And I just started shadow boxing, joking around, like, I'm ready, get, on, get out there. I do like entertaining people, uh, whether that's the only, only connection, but uh, it, it takes a lot of balls to do both of them, either of them, uh, to get in the ring. You gotta respect everybody gets in the ring and anyone gets on stage and gives a decent effort. Uh, because a lot of times you do a show and, like I did a show yesterday and I got off stage, I'm like, I can do comedy. This is, I can do this for the rest of my life. And then sometimes you get off stage and you're like, why am I doing this? Need to, I need to go focus on my jab or something. This is terrible. People hate me. Mm. Awesome, everybody. Uh, you can only work out how many hours a day, and this is a good way to blow off steam. I mean, some people write poetry, some people read. I like to write jokes and then perform it in front of strangers.